it's very hot conditions that these animals have a hard time to adapt to and at a certain point they can and their health and welfare is seriously compromised and that can lead obviously to death. In the images, you could see some animals showing behavioral signs of heat stress. They were breathing fastly, like panting, or there was excessive drooling, foaming, like in their mouths. You, you could see these animals going to the water, few water resources around, like even standing, you know, because they needed to, to dissipate heat in, and they couldn't. We tried to remain objective, but those are obvious signs that something is not working well for these animals there. There are obvious welfare problems related to these types of production systems. It's all about maximizing efficiency, getting these animals as fat as fast as possible. In the end, you end up having these dirt kind of environments that are not really capable of providing them with the conditions they need for like pasture and a more uh, natural environment. The least they should do is to really provide animals with conditions that are capable of providing good welfare. But obviously for them, you know, that has detrimental, you know, economic implications. I try to be optimistic. Despite people keep eating meat, especially meat coming from intensive systems like this, I hope in the next decades, these types of images that we are seeing here in this feedlot investigation will be something belonging to the past.